What's up, World 2 family? It's Abraham again, and today we got another special guest. We got James Shine over here. He's gonna be showing some inking out 625. Are you ready? I'm ready, let's get it. Let's get it. Hi, y'all, it's James. I'm a Houston welder. Been welding about five years. Today, I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of how to weld some inking out. All right, what I'm gonna teach y'all today is we're gonna run through some inking out combo. We're gonna start with the Inconel Root 625. It's a six inch Schedule 80. And uh, I'm gonna be running about 9,900 amps. And uh, make sure you got a good purge when you're doing Inconel, you know. It's a really dirty rod. After you each pass, you wanna clean it. Make sure you grind your uh, stops and starts. Make sure you feather real good and let's get to it. All right, guys. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna be using a 1 8 rod. And we're gonna poke it through our, uh, our tape up on the top. We don't want to take too much of the tape off of the sides because we want to keep as much purge inside as we can. We just want the purge coming straight out at the bevel, right on our weld. Like I said, this is a very dirty rod. We want to keep it as clean as we can in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, uh, I'm going to freehand the bottom. We got a 1 8 wire, 3 16 gap, running about 100 amps. What I like to do is I start over just a little bit off to the side, not the dead bottom. I start off just to the side a little bit and I do a lay wire. Just like I do with carbon. I do a little bit of a dab. Keyhole it and dab. Keyhole it and dab. Make sure you break down those walls. I prefer this way because I see the penetration that I'm getting inside. And just like that, keep it steady. Keep it in there. Make sure you break down those walls. And remember, when you're doing ink now, you want to clip the ends of your rod. It's a real dirty rod, so you try to keep it as clean as possible. Make sure every time you go to feather attack on your root when you're doing ink canal, you let it purge again. You gotta have a real good purge. And it's just like that. All right, y'all, just finished up the right side. I'm gonna come over here and do the left. It's just the same, it's on the opposite side. You're always trying to keep that rod on the inside of the pipe. You start running on the outside and feeding that puddle to the outside, you're gonna have a flat root. All right, we just closed up the root, closed that tie-in, and uh, what we're gonna do is go ahead and clean it up with the grinder on the outside. Just grind it down real smooth. You don't want to grind in too much and then burn into that root pass and blow a hole. You just want to clean it, get a nice and white shiny metal because it's a very dirty rod. You burn that next pass, helps keep it clean. Once you get your puddle established, you want to get that rod in there as fast as possible. Keep that wire up towards the top. Gravity is going to bring it down. And just walk it. Just make sure you keep that wire up at the top. Running about 155 right now. Just walk it out. Same deal for this side. Wait till you get that photo established. Add that wire to the top. And just move it. We're doing that 155. All right, we just put our root in our hot pass. Make sure you want to wire wheel the, the, the hot pass real good. Make sure you keep everything real clean. We're running a 1 8 inconel at 85 amps. 
all we're gonna do right here is just drag it. You don't wanna do any weaving. It doesn't not, this rod does not carry any metal. All you do is just drag it. And when you run this rod, you don't do any kind of movement. Just run yourself a stringer. You start trying to do movement, adding metal, stacking it up real fast, you're gonna just have it fall right off the pipe. It's just like this, run a stringer all the way. Start getting to that vertical, you wanna point that rod up. You're fighting gravity a lot with this metal. All right, we're still just doing a drag. It's a slight, slight, slight weave, but we're just dragging it. So today's only demonstration purposes, we're only gonna be running half of the pipe today. We're on a little tight schedule and we all got things we gotta go do, but. And once you start getting to that top of the pipe again, getting away from that vertical, then you can start getting back at 90 degrees center of the pipe. Very, very, very slight weave. Just drag it along. It's a hard puddle to see, but it's there. You gotta really concentrate, make sure you see that puddle flowing behind you. Tie into them walls. All you want to do is just drag it. Now here we go, we're lighting up on the on the cap right here. We're just dragging beads. Now we're only doing half of the pipe today just for demo purposes. But we're just dragging the bead. The way I like to do is grind a line just along the bottom so I can set myself a guideline. We're just running stringers. No weave. Just a slow, steady. If you rod angle, you're fighting gravity real hard with this rod, so you just keep it slow and steady. Drag it straight on up. <laughs> I guess it would have been a matter when we were tired of no way. To which to weave. <laughs> so that's how you do it. Alright guys, well there you have it, some ink and out tests. And I'd like to thank James for showing us what he got. He's a real deal. Appreciate yeah. y'all for having me out. I enjoyed it. It's a great opportunity. Thank you. Welcome, man. Till next time.